Okay, so let us uh, pray. Everlasting Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you and we bless your great name this evening for giving us yet another opportunity to be here on Unleash Hour uh, with uh, Alexander Ndegwa this evening. I pray, Father, that you use him to speak into the life of uh, everyone who will be joining us and everyone who may be, uh, be taking the time to watch this even later. I pray that uh, his word and his message will uh, resonate with them and it will make a difference in their lives in a way nothing else can do. We thank you and we bless you for this evening. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So Amen. Yeah. hello and welcome to this evening's edition of Unleash Hour. And uh, we are privileged to have with us Alexander Ndegwa. Uh, who I'm going to give the opportunity to introduce himself, to tell us more about himself, and then he'll be able to go into uh, today's discussion after that. So, Alexander, uh, it's all yours. You can take it away. Thank you so much. I am privileged to be on this platform, and I'm so honored to come and share so that we can get empowered. Uh, many people are being uh, going through a lot at this uh, time since last year. There has been so many challenges in the nation. So thank you so much for your introduction. Yeah. I'm not, yeah. not going to repeat my name. They are just as you introduced me. Yes. I'm born again, and um, I'm married, and yes. I have uh, two sons. Yes. And I'm grateful to God for this far. Mm -hmm. uh, moreover, I'm honored to uh, have this topic of uh, today. Yes. We are sharing about uh, being your own boss. Mm -hmm. And uh, so many people have really been frustrated in life because uh, they are stuck somewhere. Mm. You can imagine graduating uh, uh, with first class honor. Yes. And then after graduating, there is no job for you. Mm -hmm. You try to look even for attachment. It's also a problem. Yeah. It becomes a great challenge for those people who graduate very hopefully. Mm. And uh, only to realize after some months that uh, there is no work for them. Mm -hmm. And you know, the education system that we used to have, the 844 system, Yes. Uh, most of us studied so hard to either get a white collar job or uh, to get employed somewhere. Yes. Uh, but once you finish, you reality hits you. Mm. It hits you so hard. Mm -hmm. And I found myself in that situation. Yes. I myself, the first uh, tertiary education I got was in a, in a arts college. Yes. Uh, it's called Shantao, and I did uh, several courses there, yeah. one of them being uh, video editing, we did also music production, mm. we also did TV production, we did uh, graphic design, I also did a bit of psychology and advertising. Yeah. And when I was finishing, I was really hopeful a job somewhere, C and 3D animation. <laughs> so I was, as I was finishing, I thought now the companies were looking for me. Now it's not even me looking for them. Mm, you're the man. I now felt like I'm the man now. <laughs> I got, uh, I'm packaged with so many skills. Yes. But uh, when I, uh, uh, it became tough even to get, uh, uh, an attachment yes. somewhere. Yes. It was so serious, and yet I had a letter from the school recommending me for the attachment. Mm -hmm. So I walked from company to company. Mm. I dropped the letters. I spoke to people in the media. Uh, they dropped the letters for me, and it was so difficult. So difficult. Yeah. yeah. So actually, I was supposed to go, uh, and my parents, they said, I have to go back home. Because uh -huh. now uh, there's nothing happening in Nairobi. I have to go home and continue with the family. Yes. And it was uh, a 
tough uh, decision for me. So mm. I could, uh, there's no way I can, I could have started in Nairobi and then go back home. So what I did, <laughs> I went uh, to my aunt. Uh, yeah. She lives in uh, North Riyadh. So that is where I went and uh, she hosted me there yes. for a while. Yeah. Until I got my first job to teach in a school. Mm. I was to teach music and CRE. CRE mm -hmm. class. Yes. I had never taught before, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I have never done education as a course. Yes. But uh, when I went to apply, mm. I got the job. Yet there are so many people who are qualified for the job. Yeah. But I think they didn't have what the management was looking for. Mm. So that's why I landed on my first job. I can remember it was uh, on uh, 18th of October, mm. 2006. That is, uh, as a young man, that's when I started working. Mm. Then after from that school, I went, uh, I, uh, the, the salary was, uh, was a minimum wage, but I survived at that time. If you had like around 9,000 shillings, yes. you could survive. Uh -huh. uh, but later I got another job. I got another job somewhere else. Yes. Another school that was paying very well. Mm. And when I went there, I also faced another challenge because mm -hmm. there was too much pressure. There was too much work to be done. Yes. And then uh, the, the boss now, not actually the boss, but now the principal, Mm. Uh, used to, you know, like uh, take some of my money that really? I was supposed to be paid. Because, uh, yeah, because I used to be, I, I used to be paid uh, per student. Mm -hmm. So if a parent by mistake paid through the headmaster's office or the principal's <laughs> office, <laughs> you used to pocket the money <laughs> and tell That's me very... to teach the child. He will sort me later because yeah. I was working on a on a contract of 50-50 uh, percentage. Yes. So the school used to take 50%, I used to take 50% per uh -huh. student. Yeah. So I got so frustrated, so I had to resign. Mm -hmm. It was so tough. And when the manager called me and asked me, why do you want to resign? Mm -hmm. My answer was, I want to start my own company. Mm -hmm. I didn't have the money. Yes. I didn't have an idea of what I want to really do, uh -huh. but I just said in faith that I want to start my company. Yes. So uh, if I give her any other reason, she would have told me they will solve the issue, so I continue. But I was, like, tired of getting employed. You are fed up. I was fed up. How can you take my money? I'm working so hard. You're getting a lot of money. You're mm. earning like from 75,000 and above. I am earning around 30,000 and ha that's half of your salary. Yeah. And then you come and just take some of my money away. I, I, I couldn't understand why. Yeah. So that's why I had to write the letter. And I knew if I said that this uh, principal was using some of my money, mm. they, would not have, uh, they would not have released me. Because yeah. I was performing very well. Mm. So what I, uh, I told the manager, I'm starting my own company. She wished me well. We talked and she asked me which kind of business I want to start. I, I, t I told her I want to start a music studio. Yes. Yet I didn't have any idea of how to start one. Yes. But after they released me, when I went back home, mm -hmm. uh, what happened? I met a friend whom we used to be in college with. And then yes. they, they, they told, he told me that mm -hmm. he has been looking for me. And by coincidence, where he found me mm. was where I stay, like the same town yes. that I used to stay. And he told me, I've been looking for you. I mm -hmm. want us to start a studio together. Wow. And I was like, wow. <laughs> I didn't have the cash. Wow. <laughs> And I wanted to be partners. I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> wow. You see, I was working, I was just working by faith. Yes. So he he uh he told me he had sold a piece of land mm. and he had around uh, eight hundred thousand. Wow. So 
what we did at that time it was a lot of money at that time yes. it was a lot of money so mm -hmm. we went and uh we went there and then we we did some uh window shopping of the sound system equipment that we needed yeah. in the studio, equipment that we needed in the studio mm. so we went and found a nice uh office yeah then we went and bought all the equipment mm -hmm. we bought everything that we needed yeah. and then we established the studio mm. it was a great experience start mm -hmm. being free uh now from being employed i I began now a business, though it was yeah. a partnership. Yes. So I was to do uh, the production, mm. then he was to do more of the management. Yeah. So we called the studio Higher Calling Studio. Mm. Uh, we, we started well, we started getting clients, we started production. Mm -hmm. And then uh, after some few months, after some few months, yeah. we, I felt I felt that uh, you know we, we were not doing the right thing. Mm -hmm. Like uh, we had some agreement when we were starting the studio. We had made some agreement. We had shared our roles uh, very well. Yeah. So the, there was a bleach in the agreement that we had in the partnership. Mm -hmm. So after some months, what I did, I saved some money. Then yeah. I bought my own equipment. Mm -hmm. So when I bought my own equipment, yeah, that is when I started my studio, my mm -hmm. own studio mm -hmm. from the house. Wow! I called it Alexis Digital Media. Just like many studios start from the house. Yeah, they start from the house. <laughs> so I started uh, uh, recording from the house. Yeah, and uh, it grew. It grew until now we had to shift and come to juja that is yeah. where we are now mm -hmm. and uh we have been here ever since yeah we have had our own ups and downs as a business mm. because uh business has its own challenges mm. but uh it is the best experience being yes. your own boss it mm -hmm. is the best experience mm. and we are still growing Mm -hmm. We are still uh, doing even much more. Nowadays, we're doing even coverages of videos yeah. and also photography. Mm. We also do sound engineering. Mm -hmm. Now, I am here tonight yes. to talk to someone who is out there, mm. uh, who has been frustrated uh, or who has fear of being their own boss. Mm. I have interacted with so many young people, yeah. even some older, and most of them, they complain a lot mm. about their, the jobs that they are doing. Yeah. They complain about their bosses. Mm. They complain about uh, the nature of their work. Mm. So in short, they are not happy. Yes. Some have not been employed for a long time. Some of them, they're still waiting for employment mm. since they graduated. Mm -hmm. So I want just to share some tips on how uh, uh, I seem to have lost you there a little bit. Uh, I don't know if it's a, it's a network issue. In whatever they want to do. Uh, I think we lost you for a few seconds there. Uh, I don't know whether it's a network issue. So you, yeah, yeah, you, I, we lost you at a point where you were saying uh, you want to give some few tips. Okay, let me repeat. I was saying yes. I want to share a few tips to mm -hmm. someone yeah. who is uh, disappointed at the job they are doing, who is disappointed, or who is afraid of starting a business. Mm -hmm. or who thinks they have more than what they really have right now like maybe you can be employed and you feel uh mm -hmm. like the employer is taking advantage of you yeah and you ask me, what is the next move do i look for another job somewhere else mm. you can never be free until you become your own boss mm. so i want to encourage somebody maybe who has been afraid to start their own business 
or yes. to be to have that financial freedom. Mm. One thing they have to do is believe in themselves. Mm -hmm. Like I can be a boss. Yes. I can be in charge of my financial life. Yes. Uh, the first point I need to share is one has to decide on what they really want to do. Yeah. Like, what do I want to do? Like, what kind of business do I want to do? Mm. When you discover, or when you're in that process of discovering, some of them get confused. What am I good at? Yeah. One way of finding mm. what you can really do mm. is solving a problem. Mm -hmm. Like, you can find you have a gift of maybe repairing computers. Yes. And you find a friend and you assist them mm. to repair the computer. Mm -hmm. By assisting them and the, the computer becomes fine, yeah. you realize, oh, this can become a business. A job. Yes. yes. It can become a business. Mm. So you can start your own business of repairing the computers, computers and the laptop. Yes. And the laptop. Yes. The other thing, you ask yourself, what do I know? Because if you're starting a business, you have to be really good in that business. So mm -hmm. what do I really know? You, so you have to really start something you are very good at. Mm. So am I good at writing? Am I good at, at uh, you know, advertising? Am I good at public speaking? You must mm. be good at something. So you realize yes. your strength. Yes. Then you need to be inspired by others. Mm. Like you can look at uh, what other people are doing, then you modify. You get an idea from something maybe someone is doing, yeah. and then you modify. Mm -hmm. uh, now many people uh, have realized they are not jobs, so they are trying to open businesses. So you can find out what are the others doing. Do not copy them. Yeah. Try to modify. Mm. Be inspired by what they're doing, then modify whatever mm. they're doing. Do, do it, it in your do own it style. Do it better. Mm. Add something. Add mm. some spice. Yes. If you want to cook porridge, mm. now you need to find out what do they use. Then, with your porridge, make it better. Yes. Add something. Add an ingredient that the others are not using. Mm. That one will make it too unique. Mm. Differentiation. Somebody is asking. Yes. So somebody is asking, uh, how can I really know what am I good at? Mm. The best thing to do is do a SWOT analysis. Mm -hmm. You need to do a SWOT analysis. Uh, maybe you a need to break uh, that down for the people. To look for your... Okay, a SWOT analysis is an analysis you do. You try to find your strength. Mm. You try to find your weakness. Mm. You try to establish the opportunities that are there. Mm. You also try to establish the threats that are there. Yes. So S stands for strength. Mm -hmm. W stands for weakness. Mm -hmm. uh, o. o stands for opportunities. Mm. Yes, stands for opportunity. Yes. And T mm -hmm. stands for threat. Yes. That's why we call it SWOT, SWOT analysis. analysis. Yes. So you try to to find your strength, you find your weakness, mm. the opportunities that are there, like you can check the environment that you are in. Mm. What is happening? What is marketable in the area that I'm in? Mm. What are the threats? Because you have to look at the other side of the coin. Mm -hmm. Because you can start a business and then the business fails. Yes. Because either the competition is too high, mm. either uh, the target market does not fit the kind of job you want to do. Yes. So you have to really do your analysis very well. Mm. After you have established this thing, what you need to do next is submit this to God. Yes. Submit your ideas to God. Mm. If a business starts with a godly foundation, mm. it will go far. Yes. Some people don't even pray about it. They just go and start. Oh, they just it, go dream and come and start. 
initiate. <laughs> so that business has no foundation. Mm. But once you are inspired, once you are guided by God, yeah, that business will start. So commit that business before God. Mm. So that is point number two. Pray mm. about it. Yes. Let God guide you. Mm -hmm. To continue, yes. then you need to validate your idea and find your market. Mm. Right? Mm -hmm. So once you have an idea, determine if it is viable by looking at the market you want to target. Yes. So that idea must be viable to the target market. market. Then after that, yes, you can start doing what you like on a small scale to test your ideas. Mm -hmm. Don't start big. Yes. Start small. Start mm -hmm. small. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Then before you launch your business, it is essential to ensure that there is a demand for what you want to offer mm -hmm. by performing some market research. So yes. you must try to find out whatever that I want to do, is there a demand? Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Like in the place that you want to 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 start the business, is is there a demand? Do do the do the people really want to use my product, my services? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can, there are some services you cannot you know, bring to your to your place because they are not viable. No one needs them. Yes. So you need to find out whatever that I want to do, is it marketable here mm. where I am? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the other thing you need to do is determine the profile of your ideal customer. Like yes. you need to uh, begin asking yourself who would buy your product or use your services. Yes. You need to ask yourself. So you need to write down their age. Mm. You write down their agenda, you write down their education, their location, and social mm -hmm. background. Mm. Like there are things you cannot go to do in very um, arid areas. Yes. There are some business you cannot do in a very cold place. Mm. Like selling so ice cream. You need cream. to understand the environment. You need to understand the. Yes. <laughs> you, you can take a shock of your life going to start a business. <laughs> you are going to sell ice cream in a very cold place. In Iceland. <laughs> yeah, like Kolemuru. Yeah, yeah, in the White Highland. Yeah? Yes. You will get frustrated. Sure. So you need to understand the place very well. You, you, you look at a place, you can identify a very hot place and say, ah, now here I can sell ice cream because this place is very hot. You mm, see? Mm. So you need to determine the profile of your customer. Yes. Then also you need to analyze your competitors. Whatever you want to do has mm. already been started by somebody else. Yes. So you need to identify other business um, who businesses that provide the same goods or services mm -hmm. that you want to sell. Yes. So you can check their website their workplaces, mm. uh, gather information from them. Mm -hmm. Then start now considering how you can do better, better than them. Yes. Also, uh, you need to determine the size of your market and the possible revenue. Like mm -hmm. when you check a possible market, now you start researching, maybe on the internet, mm. to find reports on that industry that you want to enter. And then uh, you find other companies, how much they generate in that locality mm -hmm. so that you can be able to strategize. Because there are places whereby there is no business. Like now in Nairobi, yeah. you cannot be able to do a lot of farming. Mm -hmm. So you need to, if you want to do farming, you need to look, go outside Nairobi. Mm. You can go to Moranga, you can go to Meru, you can yes. go to Rift Valley. Mm. Yeah, because there there is now uh, massive land. Yes. You see. Mm. Then now you determine now where your market will be. Now you can come there and bring your product to Nairobi. To Nairobi. Because you cannot sell your products there. Because yes. everybody is selling in the, the same in, thing. In, they have big land. So you you can yeah. So you, 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 you have to establish another place to sell your product. Yes. Okay. Then you need to analyze your strengths and weaknesses as you are talking about the SWOT. 
analysis, mm-hmm. evaluation, discipline. When you are starting a business, a lot of discipline is required. Yes. You will be expected to make decisions. You will be expected to budget. Mm-hmm. You will be expected to keep time. Like if it's something, let's say for instance, I am a, I am a designer, maybe a graphic designer. Mm. I have been given some work to do. I need to deliver that that uh, poster or that product that I I am creating mm-hmm. on time. Mm. So I need to manage my time very mm. well. So I must have very good time management skill. Yes. So you need to do that when you gather the answers. This self analysis. Remember, no circumstances should stop you from becoming your own boss. Yes. So when you do that analysis, you should have results. Mm. The objective is to be realistic. You need to be very realistic because yes. sometimes we, you want to start sell, selling aeroplanes, you, you know nothing about aeroplanes. <laughs> that is very risky. <laughs> hey. It's good to dream big. Yes. But start from what you know. Yes. You need to start from what you know. Mm. The other thing, you need to start to plan for the transition. Mm-hmm. Transition. Like for instance, yeah. maybe you have been employed. Mm. You need to start saving some money. Mm. You need to start saving some money so that you can start your own business. Yes. For instance, for me, I had to the time I was employed, I, I need I needed to save some money yeah. to start now my own business. Mm. Because there must be the capital investment. Yes. So reduce your expenses as much as possible mm. and then increase your savings. Yes. So whatever you get, increase your savings. Mm. Then you need to ask, uh, uh, assess your living costs. Mm. Calculate your personal expenses such as rent, gas, groceries, and utilities. Yes. Those things that are just luxurious, you start doing away with them. Mm. You need to start doing away with them. Reduce your expenses. Mm-hmm. Then get more training. Get more training. Yes. So if you are currently working as an employee, try to learn as much as possible mm. uh, to learn. Build that you want to employ yourself. Mm. What do you need to know about that? Yes. So engage yourself to study the kind of uh, business you want to start in so that you can have a smooth transition. Do you mm. know you can quit your job and then get frustrated even yes. more? Yes. Very, very because possible. Of failing to plan. <laughs> if you fail to plan, you are planning to fail. Correct. So you must plan very well. You must be smart. You don't just go to your employer with emotions and tell them, now I'm, I'm quitting. I'm, I'm quitting. I am tired. And you don't know where. <laughs> I'm not voting. <laughs> you need to <laughs> you, you need to, to be smart. Yes. Save. Save some money mm. that will be enough for the kind of job that you want to start. Mm. So plan for that smooth transition yes then mm. also mm. uh you need to learn to learn about running a business mm-hmm. in short for you yes. to be a boss you must be a good manager mm-hmm. you must be a good manager yes so read books mm. watch videos about management mm. business management mm-hmm. get advice from professionals Yes. What? What? Start uh, some classes. Yes. Uh, about business development. Mm-hmm. You can attend forums like these ones we are having right now. Yes. So that you can know more about business. Sure. Then you need to pick up a business name. Mm-hmm. 
a good business name. Yes. Now you need to brand yourself. Mm. You need to brand yourself very well. Mm -hmm. Like uh, for you, I, I know you as Optimize. Yes. You have already branded yourself. Yes. So one has to get a name for the business. Mm. Because people are or businesses are identified by their names. Yes. So you need to get a good name that will identify you, and also it will be able to be a reference point from your target market. Mm. Then you need to register your business. Yes. Okay. Some businesses are small scale. Mm. So maybe perhaps they don't need registration. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, what you can do, yes. you can open some uh, some online or social media pages. Yes. You can have a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. You can have also an Instagram yeah. uh, page. Mm -hmm. uh, or And also... You can also have a YouTube channel. Yes. I think since 2020, mm. everything is going online. Yes. Marketing is going online. Mm. Even business, some businesses are happening online. Mm -hmm. Actually, there is a wide, wide, wide gate for business yes. in social media. Yes. Because there are people who are blogging in social media. Mm. There are people who are having marketing companies in social media. Yes. And people are also selling their products through social media. Mm. Uh, others have become content creators. Yes. Actually, there's so much to be done. Mm. Uh, let me talk about con content creators. Yes. Mostly on YouTube. Mm. Uh, most people have a YouTube channel right now. Yes. Uh, they have identified their gifts. Mm. Uh, some of them are very good singers. Yes. They have opened their YouTube channel. Mm. They have gathered a lot of subscribers. Mm -hmm. Others are very good in acting. Yes. Maybe comedy. Uh, others have reality shows mm. online on YouTube. Yes. And they are getting paid a lot of money. Mm. And you know, YouTube pays monthly. Yes. It pays monthly. Mm. They are getting a lot of money. Yes. Others are, uh, are covering even news and also uh, uh, maybe things that are happening around. It could be about a story about someone. Mm -hmm. Like uh, you can feature someone in a story. Yes, and it, they are getting a lot, a lot of money through YouTube mm. because they have a lot of subscribers. Mm -hmm. So there is a lot to be done on online platform. Yes, and also after you establish your business, you need to like uh, advertise it online mm -hmm. so that you can gather uh, enough market. Yes. Did we lose you? Hello? If you can hear me, we... My host? Oh. Uh, for a minute, a minute, I lost uh, Mr. Samuel for a minute. I'm saying that... Uh, Sorry you for that. I don't know what happened. Post your business on your WhatsApp page. It, I I can read from your network. Yeah. Uh, your network has some issues. Yes, I'm I back. Can I'm see, back. I'm back. I can see the indication of the network. I'm but back. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, just go ahead. Go ahead.